my name, I will do it. Verse 15 says, if ye love me, keep my commandments. Now I want you to go down to verse 20. says, he that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself in him. Now bring the 20, verse 23 up to the top. I'm going to read the 26. Okay. It says, Jesus answered and said to him, if a man love me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father, but the fathers who sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatever I have said unto you. You may take your seats at this time, and the Lord have a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. You go ahead. Now, the title of this message is Increase Your Commitment to God. Hmm. Increase Your Commitment to God. And also with that is get an understanding of what he wants. Increase your commitment to God, but get an understanding of what he wants. You see, he did say, you, if you ask anything in the name of Jesus, Jesus will do it. He said that. However, you got to read through the 15th verse. So you must show Jesus that you love him by keeping his commandments, his instructions. Amen. Because he is not just someone just to hand things out, just hand things out. There has to be a commitment to God. So you must get an understanding of what he wants so you can receive what you desire. And once you understand what he wants, hmm. all the things that you desire will be in line with his commandments, Amen. with his instructions. Amen. You can't, he says, if you do A and you do B and you do C, D, is your desire. But it can't be E if E is the wrong answer. And it doesn't line up with his word. Bottom line. Bottom line. So it says if you know his commandments, meaning that you have read or you have heard his commandments are his instructions, and you keep them, he is saying the keeper of his commandments is the one who loves them. Hmm. Come on now. Lip service doesn't produce anything. <laughs> if someone says, I'm going to do something for you, guess what? Nothing happens from what they say. It happens when they do it. Mm -hmm. That means there are results, the right results. So you have to get the right results. And when he said that the keeper of the commandments is the one who loves them, guess what? He's saying that these are the ones who the Father and Jesus loves. And Jesus will manifest himself to them. And what he is saying is, how can you expect me to manifest myself to you 
if you don't have the proper relationship with me. Mm, come on now. If Jesus says, I'm on 5th Street, let me use a better word, 7th Street, <laughs> you can't go to 6th Street and expect to see Jesus. <laughs> You can't go to the first street. You can't go to the second street. Third, fourth, fifth, or sixth. And be upset that he's not there. Because those were not the instructions that he gave. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we get frustrated because we want to do things our way. Okay. And nothing happens. Mm -mm. Or we may understand what he wants and we may say, that's too hard. Lord, meet me halfway. Well, God is not a halfway God. <laughs> you can only receive what he has where he says you can receive it. Do you love him? Do you love him? That's what's needed. Because so many people have used manipulation mm -hmm. to get things from people thinking that the same thing that they do will work with God. Uh oh. All right now. Uh oh. And so they become frustrated <laughs> because they can't get what God has. And yes, he does have something for them, but, it, but it's not made to order. God's word doesn't change, and we must line up with his word. So that's why you have to make a commitment and increase your commitment to God. The more you understand that, he says, oh, I need to do this right. Mm -hmm. I was doing it this way, but it didn't produce the right results. Well. So, because I'm studying his word, now I get an understanding of what he wants. And I'm going, oh, this is what he wants. Let me do it. Guess what? You start to get better results. Mm -hmm. And the closer you get to him, the better the results will be. And then Jesus and God said, they will make you their dwelling place which means they're talking about our body being a temple where the Holy Spirit dwells. That is what we 